is the town clerk answerable to the council? The town clerk is answerable to the council because the town clerk is a servant of the council. The town clerk's specific role is to be the bottleneck between the administration and the council. The town clerk's role is to execute the mandate again, the vision, the directives of the council. In part one of my in-depth discourse with city councillor and former deputy mayor Sherrod Duncan, I ask him to share with the viewers the construct and function of the city council. I also ask him what he saw as his role and the roles of the mayor and the town clerk. You will also hear the former deputy mayor outline what he thinks are some of the errors of the town clerk. Having been elected and as a former elected mm -hmm. officer as the deputy mayor, mm -hmm and having served in that capacity, mm -hmm. and, and I, if I would say effectively so, mm -hmm. know that you are not there, what do you see as your role? I have the responsibility to ensure that Georgetown is managed in a, in a competent manner, in a competent manner. That is what the, the, the law says, it uses two words, <laughs> in a professional, so that is my role, to ensure that Georgetown is managed in a professional and in a competent manner. That is my role as a councillor. For the time that you have spent as the deputy mayor, mm -hmm. the access that you would have had, the travels, whatever special thing mm -hmm. that would have come with that portfolio, do you see yourself using any of those, the knowledge that you have gained from that in providing guidance? Because I served as deputy mayor, and one of the, one of the, one of the roles in acting in the mayor's absence um, and discharging the functions of mayor um, is chairing statutory meetings. Um, we've had to meet with um, several delegations and several issues, give leadership to, 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 to several issues in the absence of the mayor, meeting with the private sector and so forth. Um, I have had to make sure that I had a, 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 a good understanding of how the law works and specific to, to, to City Hall is the Municipal and District Councils Act, Chapter 2801. And um, I've had the good privilege also of studying law, so that has been very helpful um, in understanding how, how how the law works and so all that we do at City Hall must come back to what the law says should be done in terms of managing the city. I've tried um, as much as possible to give guidance on various issues um, that come to the council level uh, you see, or even the matters that, that, that um, are, sur are circumvented um, from the council. You see things happening, you, you hear issues in the media and you, you make your, you try to give guidance um, to counsel. Sometimes the guidance is heeded, sometimes it isn't. Um, more times than not, it isn't heeded. Um, and, uh, and I think that is what has brought us to, to this point with a no confidence motion okay. when you see things are going a certain okay. way. What is the role of the mayor? Um, in, 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 in brief. Again, the, the, the role of the mayor um, is to be more of a shepherd to the counselor. Um, to, to, to be that point person um, in orchestrating a vision for, the, uh, for City Hall, for, the, for Georgetown as a whole. What is the role of the town clerk? Again, um, the, the town clerk has the role of, of, um, of being the head for City Hall, um, of being the administrative head um, who all the staff for City Hall report to. The law says that where really the town clerk is legally qualified to do so, the town clerk can give general legal advice to the council, but that is limited to where he is legally qualified to do so. Does the current town clerk um, possess that? No, because the, 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 the current town clerk isn't trained in law. Um, if I remember correctly, his, the, 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 his training is in the area of communication. So the town clerk cannot operate independent of the two things. Cannot operate independent of the law, and cannot operate independent of the council. What is wrong with what the current town clerk, Mr. Royston King, is doing according to Sherrod Duncan? All right, um, where do I start? Let's, let's go back to 2016, when we first took office, when our tenure started. Um, we had the issues of the, the removal of vendors from Starbrook Market, um, and, and this is and this is a lot of vendors now one and two, um, and also from Rob Street. Now that the issues of, of, of vending and, and, and markets and so forth comes on the, a committee, the Markets and Public Health Committee. When you are an elected councillor and you and, and you are, and, and you represent the people at City Hall, 
then the issues concerning the people must come before the councillors for a decision. Remember, the council sets the policies and the directives. When you wake up one day and, and you read that, you, you know, stalls are being broken down and people are being, you know, moved off the, of the pavement and all of that, um, while, while it might be all well and good for order in the city, good, the, the council has a certain function. And so you cannot operate outside of the function of the council. When the vendors were removed from Sabrak Market, I think it was the then uh, Minister of Social Cohesion, who was uh, Minister of Alder Lawrence, said that you know, council ought to be more sensitive to the plight of the vendors. The, when the vendors were moved from, from Rock Street, without the authority of the council, the president himself <laughs> said that the move was reckless. This is the president, not of a, a, a credit union or some or, or, or one of the labor unions. This is the president of the Cooperative Republic of Ghana. The executive president, who I support, said that that move was reckless. Tomorrow you will hear about the no confidence motion that will be brought against the town clerk. And Sherrod Duncan will also share what he thinks is the relationship between Mayor Patricia Chase Green and Royston King. For Channel 2 Headline News, I am Wendell Jeffrey.